pretty much across all databases, whether it's open source, closed source, um, major database versions include overhauls of the database optimizer. And um, you just don't know what you're going to get from a performance perspective when you when you when you apply the new binaries, when you upgrade your database. It's just you never know what you're going to get. And often you find yourself having to tweak parameters and indexes, rewrite queries completely. Um, and I guess, you know, from my SQL perspective, I'd be curious to see to have uh, Ronald kind of elaborate a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, that's just that's what I've seen. It, it's there's always something. So if you had a very straightforward database, Sam, as you mentioned, uh, it's quite possible that uh, you don't need to take on new features that are coming out of the new version, uh, but a change of version may have taken something that was deprecated and now has removed that piece of functionality. And if you haven't been keeping up to date in versions, you may need to you know, change some functionality in that respective. Um, another common problem is the introduction of additional reserved words. So something that did work in a prior version now is incompatible. Uh, even in the most basic applications. But as Adam talked about, the change to the optimizer or a change to the concurrency model is generally the largest impact in any product. And between 5.7 and 8.0, it's very significant for a number of reasons. One of those reasons is, is that MySQL, unlike many other products, supports different underlying storage engines. There's the default storage engine, which is NodeDB, and there are a number of other storage engines. And in 8.0, they have moved towards supporting, uh, in addition to that, the Oracle's version of Heatwave, which is a data warehousing type solution. So the optimizer is now catering for different types of patterns of data which you want to retrieve. So just natively now, a query that may have performed a certain way using indexes in a particular way is now doing that differently. And so... The, the, the most basic thing is it has the query execution plan changed. The other thing that's really significant between 5.0 and 8.0 is, is that there was a lot of work done to improve the concurrency of the databases. There used to be a real tipping point uh, in you know less than a thousand concurrent connections with MySQL. And in 8.0, they spent a lot more effort in enabling higher concurrent versions of systems to support many thousands of connections. So what actually happens is if you have a low volume uh, infrastructure, low concurrency, your queries will naturally take longer in 8.0, just simply because it's been re-architected to support greater concurrency of connections. So it's important to note that, you know, features can have a positive impact on new functionality or bug fixes or optimizations, but it can have a negative impact on more traditional ways that you may have worked on. Um, and just one more thing regarding the, the queries. In early versions of MySQL, there were various ways in which you could trick MySQL into doing something specifically for the query execution as MySQL does not pin a query execution plan. It recalculates that every time. And people may have had these particular hints uh, or techniques or different types of indexes in place over prior versions. And now they just no longer apply in 8.0. And so uh, review of your structure, review of your queries is necessary to achieve uh, comparative performance between your current version and the next version coming up. 